ingenuity of the Italians, how a jingle became a worldwide phenomenon. The Luck and Zone Napolitana hit Finicula Finicula by Luigi Denza and Peppino Turca. <laughs> Imagine you work at a rundown small market music studio and you normally write so-so jingles that some people in your local radio market might remember. Kind of. Now imagine you're tasked with writing an entire song. But you not only write it, you make a smash, a hit. You are the essence of batting it out of the park. Sorry, for my non-American viewers, that's an analogy of making a small thing spectacular with boundless creativity conviction, fortitude, and sheer will. You persevere, in other words. You overcome obstacles, and you make them opportunities. You grow. You learn. You, my friend, are the epitome of the Renaissance age. You are a Renaissance spirit. You tame your fear. You put your all into something. And you make it phenomenal. You make magic. You make the world perceptibly better. You are a superstar. Well, that's exactly what happened in Napoli in 1880. You wrote a song that most of the world takes joy from. And that's our story today. The stage is set. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a journey through time and sound as we explore the ingenuity of the Italians and the fascinating story behind one of the most beloved Neapolitan songs of all time. Join us as we unravel the magic behind Finiculi Finicula. Let's set the scene first. Picture, late 19th century Italy. Italy unified as a nation through the Risorgimento from 1848 to 1871. Before that, and since the fall of the Roman Empire, Italy had remained a fractured nation of petty kingdoms and playthings of poor princes from richer nations. From at least two estates, sorry from the borrower from France, and north of Italy was historically richer and more industrialized than the poor and more agriculturally dependent southern neighbors. Government policies after unification favored the more industrial north at the expense of the south, and policies that undermined the marketability of the southern crops by southern farmers drove many of farmhand away from the shores of Italia. Immigrants from southern Italy made way to nations beyond the smooth touch of the crystal blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Here our story begins. It is the late 1800s in a poor and more beleaguered Napoli since the unification. And let's face it, to the rest of the world, the biggest thing to happen around Naples was Vesuvius erupting in 79 AD. Since then, like the rest of the boot, the plaything for popes and princes, a nation not of its own. But Naples was a bustling port in a flourishing hotbed of artistic and musical genius a defiance against what could have been their fate, which was a poor people someone else's chess piece. But not for the Napolitano, for they took respite in their expression, a raised blade to the suppression of indignity and descent into obscurity. Napoli was not to be forgotten in the annals of world history. Don't believe me? Did you know that one of the world's favorite foods was created in Napoli around this time? So go and grab a slice of pizza and keep watching. Napoli was as sultry as the denizens poor. It was a city of music that danced in the streets, a people bound by passion. Just don't stay out too late, the locals don't. It was in this vibrant atmosphere that the seeds of Finicula Finicula were planted. Meet Luigi Denza, a talented Italian composer, and Peppino Turco a renowned lyricist. Together, they embarked on a musical journey that would change the course of Neapolitan music forever. The inspiration for Finiculi, Finicula, came from the opening of the first funicular railway on Mount Vesuvius in 1880. The song captures the excitement and thrill of ascending the volcano, offering listeners a thunderous and beautiful, not wonderless, musical chairlift to the clouds and the roller coaster gondola car ride down the incline. The song was massaging the ears of the entire Campania region, including Napoli, and it didn't take long for it to catch the attention of the wider world. Its uplifting melody 
and lively rhythm transcended cultural boundaries, earning it a special place in the hearts of people far beyond the shores of Italy. From opera houses in Europe to theaters in America, Finiculi Finicula became a global sensation. The world fell in love with Naples. Its catchy tune and spirited lyrics made it an instant favorite, and soon it was being sung in countless languages, solidifying its status as a timeless classic. The song found its way into films, advertisements, and even as jingles for various other products. A song about a cableway selling pasta. Now that's staying power. Its adaptability and universal appeal showcased the power of music to transcend borders and bring people together. One race, one human family. And it helped unveil the beauty of Napoli folk music, or unofficially known as La Canzone Napolitana, to an even wider world. Songs like Finiculi, Finicula, and A Solo Mio, which was also written in this golden age of Napoli, cemented the world's love for the slice of heaven. Vita bella. That's amore was the love lost in dean martin's song of napoli about a boy's loss of a girl or the loss of a homeland the old country a tear for a forgotten identity today finicula finicula lives on as a testament to the enduring ingenuity of the italians and their ability to create music that resonates across generations its joyful melody continues to echo through the streets of naples and beyond connecting people with the rich cultural history of Italia, the true Renaissance spirit. As we conclude our journey through the ingenuity of the Italians, we invite you to immerse yourself in the magic of Finicula, Finicula and experience the timeless allure of Neapolitan music. Grazie mille for joining us on this musical journey. I hope you found this journey up and down the funicular of a bygone Napoli and not so bygone, uplifting. This cable car trip made the meek roar and the seas crescendo, as to a touch in long embrace. Musical bliss. Maybe one day you will let your Renaissance spirit soar and ascend new heights, like Mr. Stenza in Turkey. Stay on this journey with me, up to the stars. These videos are a series I call the Renaissance Spirit. More than just a philosophy or a style, but a style for living, learning, growing, and thinking. Please subscribe and take my quiz next to see if you're a Renaissance Spirit. Live the Renaissance Spirit. Arrivederci.